Hey everybody, I hope you're hanging in there. Um, we just had an incredibly beautiful weather weekend. It was gorgeous outside. I hope you were able to get outside. We are all about staying connected for this week and we are about staying on track. I know it's really a strange time and that's when imposing a little bit of structure on yourself is going to be super, super important. Please let me know how I can help you with that. I am uh, available by text or phone uh, to chat with you about how we can help you stay on track. We have a super fun Monday workout. This is a really good all-in-one workout. If you're only getting a few ones in during the week, this is the one you want to get. This is the coronavirus version of Fight Gone Bad. And it's going to be some body weight stuff and you'll have a single dumbbell or single kettlebell for the rest. So here are the details. We're going to start warming up by doing either 10 minutes or 10 rounds of a little warm-up complex. You're going to hop down into an inchworm position, walk your hands all the way out. Inchworm, I reach my hands down, walk out, all the way out into a full plank. While you're there, you'll hit two pause mountain climbers. Two pause mountain climbers, big step, hip circle, back to plank, Big step, hip circle, back to plank. Come back to your plank, hit three up down dogs. Hips high, down dog. Hips high. Hips high, back to plank. Immediately after that, you're going to do four plank press ups. Plank press ups, one, two, Three, four. And then I walk my hands back up into my inchworm. Fight Gone Bad is a 16 minute running clock where you do three five minute rounds of work with two one minute rounds of rest. Working for a minute, doing as many goblet squats as you can do. For the goblet squats, I'm gonna hold that kettlebell out in front by the handle. You can hold it underneath if you like. This is a little bit of more of a challenge. Hip crease below the knees, drive up, stand up. Keep a nice straight back, drive up, stand up. Immediately into American swings. I want a silver back. Hinge my hips, keep my back nice and flat. Swing the bell way back behind like I'm hiking a football. And then I keep it close, bring it all the way up overhead. Tame the arc of the bell. Don't let the bell take you in a big loopy swing. Keep it tight, take it straight up. Into push presses. Next up we have push presses. So now I'm gonna rack the thing under my chin. I dip down, keep my chest up, load my hips, drive and press. Dip, drive, press. Dip, drive, press. Dip, drive, press. I'm gonna go as long as I can on this side when I need a break and switch, I switch sides, finish out the minute on the other side, or if you want to switch more than once, you can. Dip straight down, drive straight up, open the shoulder, your ear should be in front of your arm. Next, we will have some broad jumps, or if you have access to a box, you can do box jumps or step ups. And then finally, we'll do some burpees for a minute before resting for a minute, and then for rounds two and three, we go right back and start again with the goblet squats. Next, we have broad jumps. For these, I'm just going to do as long a broad jump as I can. I'm going to land in a squat, and then I'll turn back around and go back the other way. So it's a big jump. Turn. Then our last movement is burpees. Remember, the end of one burpee is the beginning of the next burpee. Keep your elbows nice and tight to your body. So I'm gonna hinge in my hips, reach for the ground, get flat, pop up, jump, and get right back down. Pop up, jump, get right back down. Pop up, jump. If I need to modify those, I touch my hands to the ground, walk the feet out, drop to all fours, 
get down flat, get back to all fours, pop my hips up, and I'm standing up. A burpee just means you're getting down on the ground, getting right back up. Have fun with this one. This is a classic CrossFit workout. It's gonna be a great start to your week. See you soon.